हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दिस सी एस आर नाइट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मैथमेटिक्स पेपर सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस सो विच इज आस्क रिलेटेड टू द थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एंड द पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इज द नेगेटिव मार्किंग सो द क्वेश्चन इज इफ यू हैव सम सम मेट्रिक्स दैट इज अ पीज डिफाइन लाइक दिस वे ओवर द डोमेन आर टू देन फॉर वट वैल्यू ऑफ द ए एंड बी दैट इज आउट ऑफ दिस फॉर ऑप्शन दिस फॉर्म इनर प्रोडक्ट पी so all of you know that what are the properties of the inner product is if i say x comma y it must be of the greater than or equal to 0 first property second one is x comma x is uh, is zero if and only if x is zero and is satisfy that triangular property alpha of x y is nothing but my mod of alpha x y so let's start with this which one is satisfied so look at the options are there they are talking about a b and c zero So let's consider what will happen if a is zero. So if you look about this function, that is x comma y, what will happen if a is zero? So this part is zero, this zero, this zero. This is x here. Can you say this property first one? It is always be zero. No. Why? Because x one you can take uh, x x as say three comma four, and y as of minus one comma seven. So what is the meaning of that? That is x two and y two are of this. If you substitute this value, so it will be my minus of seven b square. Since b square is always positive, so it can never be greater than zero. It means this option is cancel out. Also, if you check about the b is equal to zero property, so it again if b is zero, this these are this cancel out. So again it will be here. So it not satisfied. Now we can check whether both are greater than zero or not. So look about that. It will be zero if now if I consider x is y. What will happen if I consider x is y? That is here. So what is the meaning of that? X one is nothing but my x two, and y one is nothing but my y two. So if you substitute this value in the given function p, what is that? This is nothing but my a square x one y one. This is a b. This is a square x one y one plus a b x one y one plus a b again x one y one. Plus b square x one y one. So what is that? This is a plus b whole square x one y one. Now here x is y. It means we are working on the on this property. Whenever x they are same, it means this will be zero. Is it always zero for a positive, b positive? No. Why? Because if you consider a as say three, b as of say minus three, then this value again be a zero. But this property, whenever both are positive, whenever both are positive, this property will not be satisfied. So this is zero. May also that whenever a is equal to three, b is minus three, and x one and y one can have any value. It means both can be greater than. It is not be satisfied. Again, you can see the product of them is a greater than zero. That's also be the not satisfied based on this because you can see that whenever a and b, that is the product, is less than zero, then this will. Will form a inner product space. So this is not the only the condition. So the right answer is there is no values of the a and b for which this form a inner product. So the right answer is my D. That's a simple way you have to simply remember the properties and discard their options based on that. So I hope you can simply learn this one. We will see some more lectures on this next twenty twenty examination. Till then you can simply follow this link. Happy learning. Thank you.